Maps within Summit are spatially visual representations of numerical and text data across a field. Maps have associated legends that provide information about what is being displayed. These legends are based on unique items, which are then divided into a number of classes and ranges according to the specific classification method. For instance, the legend for this map states that it is displaying the data for a p-recommendation and is displaying the p-rec data in three classes. The classes are divided into specific numerical ranges and each range is assigned a color code. Red for lowest, yellow for medium, and green for upper range. Summit also displays the total acres for each range of data. When the map legend is changed, the appearance of the map will also change to reflect the new classifications or color codes. Changes can be made to the map legends within the legend editor. The legend editor can be accessed by double-clicking on a map layer or by choosing Layers, Modify Classifications. There is a lot contained within the legend editor. If you need a quick reminder of how things within the editor work, click the Help icon and a list of descriptions for each item will be given. Within the legend editor, you can access the legend of any layer from the top drop-down list. This allows you to quickly make changes without having to return to the main map section and click on another map and its legend. The first point of interest is the unique item or data layer that is being displayed. The amount of items to choose from will depend on the data contained within the layer. For instance, if I go to the legend for my planting operation, it shows that I am currently displaying the variety hybrid data and the map displays the unique varieties of DeKalb. However, other attributes are also recorded within this operation and they can be displayed, such as seeding rates. If I choose seeding rate from within the item drop-down list, the map now displays the different seeding rates across the field. The classification method provides a way to classify an attribute's data. Here's what that means. If I were to zoom in to this map, such as this PREC, I would see thousands of individual cells. Each of these cells contains a unique value, each value being the calculated P recommendation for that area. The classification methods, such as equal interval, best fit, and others, are different ways to group the data into various classifications. For example, if I move through the different classification methods, I can see that the breaks in my data change. It's important to understand that the data itself is not changing. Only the breaks in how the data is being classified and the colors to represent that classification are being changed. Likewise, the number of classifications used will change the appearance of the map. The method of classification used for surface maps is largely a matter of opinion. Additional statistical information regarding the various classification methods are covered in other tutorials.